let us in this moment, just for the heaven of it, release ourselves into a gentle and deep knowing of the love that resides at the core of ourselves, who is in reality, who we incarnated into the persona identity that we carry in this world, but is the one in truth that we come back home to be one with as we allow, as I allow in these moments, a letting go of my current sense of being this person. So just enjoy for a moment that kind of release, a letting go to the deepest, most inmost core sensibility of who it is that dwells in the originating place of your being and our being together. And as we allow this to happen, perhaps you will agree with me that we are naturally in service to that inner core reality. And to the extent that each of us knows how much we are loved and cherished from the inmost part of ourselves as beings of pure love, we may begin to relish and have desire to serve the outer world in which we live from that place. This morning here in Cape Town, in our service, we, we had the experience of relishing this very source nature of our being. And it was inspired by the, the poetry of Psalm 23, he, thou preparest a table before me in, in, the midst, in the presence of mine enemies, knowing that these enemies are really patterns of disconnection that have created distortions and, and actually have proliferated war and anarchy on this planet in the collective uh, culture. I'd say anarchy because it's an absence of monarchy, an absence of sovereignty, true sovereignty. And as we were relishing our relationship with this most inmost core, we, and as it's put in the psalm, this table that's prepared before us, it's what we're facing is what's before us, isn't it? It's what it's in front of us. But what's back of that of, is this amazing, unlimited multiplicity of dimensions of being that are manifesting through outer dimensions of being. And as, they die, as that is what we're tapping into, we realize that this table that is prepared before us comes from the most high supreme master chef of the universe. <laughs> it's a feast of spiritual nourishment, of beauty, of pleasure. It is our father's good pleasure, it was said somewhere in the New Testament, to give you the kingdom. Well, this is this kingdom of our inner our inner knowing of what lives in the invisible aspect or dimension of our souls, which is heaven, which it can be a, a beautiful heaven, could even be a motherland. It could be a restoration of the nature and the culture and the way of being we, we, we once upon a time knew as a human family, as a family of God being here in this dimension of creation. This kingdom we are given to enjoy because the master chef, the supreme artist, the supreme nature of the creator is constantly serving this beautiful meal of beauty, the beauty of radiance, the beauty of nourishment, of spirit, and then the, the gifts that we enjoy on this planet, the gifts of 
all that grows and and has its being here in the way of fruit and and growing things and we are in a garden of eden that has been disconnected from its own nature 